Well, I'm a technologist at heart. I mean, I started my career effectively in computing. I never expected to become chief executive officer of a bank. Banking and finance is really the core of any economy. You know, it provides people with the opportunity to borrow, to buy cars, to buy houses, to have credit cards. It also provides them with the opportunity to deposit funds and save, and, and that's very critical to, to any economy. Technology really gave me a great understanding of the business as we went through the process of redesigning business processes and redesigning the way that we interact with customers. And that's been due to the fact that uh, we've been able to provide customers with instant access to services, whether it be through ATMs, whether it be through the internet, whether it be through telephone banking, transfer of funds internationally. So all of those things would not have been possible without technology. And I think that we're going to see a significantly greater use of the internet and innovation which will come from that. And we're seeing all of these smart telephones, iPhones and all the rest of it, which are getting all of these different sorts of financial applications. We've got stockbroking on the iPhone with Comsec. We've got a range of activities which I think are just going to continue to flow and be driven by innovative technology. So for the next hundred years, I think there's plenty of innovative space left for the banking industry. So graduates who are looking forward to innovative careers um, should be looking at applications or at various organisations or activities that have the uh, high level of, of technological input into them because I think those are the industries that are going to provide great career satisfaction and, uh, and give people the opportunity to, to really get a, a feeling, a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction because that's really important when you, you have a job, it's doing something that you really enjoy.